Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know we've never done any content like this, but it's not fishing, but it's still related to the outdoors. So we're gonna harvest some quail, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then we're gonna do a, a catch and cook, kind of. Since they're in a cage, it's not really catching, but we're gonna cook them up and it's gonna be good. So stay tuned if you're into this kind of thing. If you don't wanna see it, just uh, skip to one of my fishing videos. Let's get after it. So we have 16 quails and we have a cage built for them, but these are just still chicks and the adults won't let them go in the cage. So I'm gonna harvest the adults and we're gonna eat them. So these are adult quails and they won't let the chicks be in the cage with them. So we're gonna harvest these and put the chicks in this cage. And then we're gonna do a, we're gonna cook them up. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean them and cook them. All right, so we have our three birds and some poultry shears. First thing we do is cut off the wings right here at the base. Then we cut off the feet right above that first knuckle. Then you cut the head off. Um, leave some neck. You want to leave some neck on the head. And the tail. You want to pull the tail up right kind of high and just cut the tail off. Just like that. Then you want to get the breast right here by the feet. And just pull the skin and the feathers will come off all at once. Try not to rip the skin. The cleaner you do this, the less feathers you'll get everywhere. You want the skin and the feathers all to come off together. We're gonna save that leg meat. You may not think it, but there's a lot of meat on those legs. All right, so we have our quail. As I come in right here in the, in the chest, I just peel this back. Like that. And then you just reach in here With a paper towel and you pull all the guts out. Just like that. You have your breast and your legs. All clean. Legs. Wings. And then the tail. Alright, we're going to try and do this one all in one piece. Feathers and the skin and everything all at once. And I've seen people do this in like 
30 seconds. It takes me a couple minutes to clean one and I still make kind of a mess. I'm definitely not a professional. We don't harvest enough birds for me to be a professional. Get another paper towel. Reach in there. Oh wow, this was a female. That's what the eggs look like inside. Wow, look at that. Well, just like you fish and you learn, you hunt and you learn too. They make an egg a day. That's what, actually why we got the quails. We'll eat some of them, but we got them for the eggs. I love quail eggs. So this one, cut the legs off, cut the wings off, cut the head off, leave a bunch of neck if you can, and then cut the tail off. The skin really does peel off quite easy. Of course, these are still warm. They're as fresh as you can get. I just harvested these ones. And this is another way you can do it. You just cut down the spine on each side. So I just cut down the spine on each side and you take your paper towel and you just go in and scoop everything out. And I think this was a male. I'm pretty sure that first one we had was a male too. They're supposed to give us three females and one male. It looks like we got two males and two females, but a snake got one of them. So there we go, nice and clean. There's your breast, legs. So that's three ways to clean them. This one I cut the backbone out. It lays open just like that. This one, I ripped everything out through the chest cavity on the leg side. And this one, I ripped everything out through the chest cavity. But on the front side, I peeled, I peeled the chest back like that. But you're left with the same thing. Lots of good meat right there. Mm-hmm. Let's get these cleaned up. I'll show you guys how to cook them. All right, after we get them cleaned up, I'm going to cover them and put them in the fridge and let them soak for a day. Yep. So now all of our quails are baby chicks. They're a little bit grown up already. Are going to have a whole new cage to themselves. They are definitely more happy. Oh, this could be so nice to have our house back. Raising quail chicks is stinky business. They make a huge mess. Huge mess. But they're generally well behaved. Look, I can have that cage open and that cage open, and they don't run away. Oh, gotcha. Oh, go that way. I don't know what to do with all this freedom. They've never been in a cage this big. Oh, they like this little box. We might have to build another one. They look so happy. It won't be long before y'all are making me some eggs. Ooh, they're getting crazy. They're getting crazy. So 
So this is John A. Adams. It's some good stuff. Roasted urban garlic, grill mates, that's some good stuff. And then just garlic, salt, and pepper. We're gonna do one in the air fryer, and we're gonna do one in the oven. Yes, I know it's pink. My wife loves pink and teal. Land of Lakes butter is my favorite. Let's get one of our quails here. I'm gonna take some of this butter and just rub it on. Rub it on the bird. Stick one up in there like that. All right, now we're gonna season it. We're gonna start with the John A. Adams fajita rub. A little too much, that'll come off. Then some roasted herb and garlic. Some pepper. And just a touch of garlic salt. I don't want it too salty. I'm not a big fan of salty food. So just a touch. All right, some of our seasoned butter fell out. Let's go ahead and put that back. Just like so. And then we'll bake that guy. Just a touch of garlic salt and some pepper. Now we're just gonna throw this guy in the air fryer. Oh yeah. Fifteen minutes at three sixty. Oh, that looks good. So this is what it looks like out of the oven. It's not quite as pretty, but it does look a little more tender. It's got juices coming out of it. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. We did a farm to table catch and cook with these quails and uh, I'm about to eat them. So I'm gonna say my prayers and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right guys, just getting about being done. Those were the legs, they were amazing. I think the air fried quail turned out a little bit better than the baked one. There's the air fried, there's the baked. That's the breast right there and the tender. It's, it's really good. I probably put a little too much salt, so don't add the garlic salt. Just the, the first couple seasonings will suffice for sure. So now I'm really done with those quails and they were awesome. Anyways, guys, I know this isn't my normal fishing content, but this is an outdoors channel and they don't have to be farm raised quail. They could be quail you hunt and you would clean them the same way. So I hope you guys get some value out of this. I hope it was entertaining. And as always, hunt, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. All of our quail chicks made it through the night and the day. They're all looking good.